going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Funko Pop news video here on the channel. And today we're going to be covering the initial reveals from WonderCon 2022. And I say the initial ones because I kind of feel like there's got to be more to what they've shown so far because it doesn't seem like it's too much. Regardless, we're going to go over everything that's been shown so far along with one particular leak because it's more leaked than it's actually been revealed. But we know it's coming, and it's. In, I have an actual interesting story about that one too, so we'll get to it when we get to it. But yeah, if you guys are excited for today's video, drop a like, and let's get started with today's WonderCon reveals. So WonderCon is actually very, very interesting because we knew it was coming, it's about a month away, uh, but Funko decided to start revealing things uh, a month early, and usually they do it like the week of the event, which is very interesting. Looks like they're trying to change at least, getting people prepared uh, to where they need to shop and things like that. Uh, but yes, this is actually happening a month from now, but we're getting the reveals now. The first thing that they showed us was actually boastful Loki from the Loki TV show. Um, this is uh, one of the Loki variants that Loki comes across when he gets uh, pruned. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, when he gets pruned, he comes across classic Loki, kid Loki, alligator Loki, president Loki, and boastful Loki. Uh, who, if I'm not mistaken, turns out to be one of the traitors of the group. Uh, it's a whole thing on the Loki TV show. It's really cool. We knew this was coming because the actor was actually interviewed at a con sometime last year. And he told uh, the person interviewing him that he should be getting a Funko Pop of himself. And he was told it was supposed to be a con exclusive. So we thought it was going to be NYCC. It never happened. Um, then we kind of thought it was going to be LACC and that one didn't happen. I personally thought it was going to be included in the Disney Plus uh, Collector Core box that Amazon does. But now we have the reveal that it will be a WonderCon 2022 Funko Pop. Definitely one that I want to add to my collection. Of course, if you guys are collecting Loki, this is probably something that you want to add to your collection as well. The next Funko Pop that I'm going to talk about here is actually from the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, every con tends to have some sort of Yzma or Kronk uh, variant, for example. And this time they're dropping a Kronk Angel. Makes me wonder, do we even have a Cusco Funko Pop? Do we? I, I would love to know if we actually do because I would love to get that into my collection. Let me know down in the comment section below. But we have Angel Kronk and this one looks really, really cool. Held Head mold is very unique and is, of course it's very Kronk. Uh, looks really, really cool. I'm trying to remember where this is actually from, like what particular scene, but still really cool to see that we're getting more Emperor's New Groove. Um, I don't really see these things sell out quite often, and I do expect this to be probably a box lunch exclusive, to be honest. So there's that to know. But yeah, uh, if you guys are a fan of Disney Funko Pops, this is probably something you want to add to your collection. So this next one's actually very, very interesting. This is actually coming from Disney's Donald Duck. This is a Donald's Should Angel and Devil 2-pack. This looks really, really interesting, really cool. If you guys have seen any sort of cartoon, particularly Donald Duck, right? But any, any cartoon really does this where they show off pretty much an angel and a devil on the shoulder when somebody's coming up with a significant decision. This is pretty much a play on that, which is really, really cool. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not the biggest Donald Duck uh, fan in general, so I wouldn't be able to tell you where this is actually from. Um, but the whole concept and design itself looks phenomenal. The devil looks really, really cool. Actually, they both look really, really cool, honestly. This is something, if you're a Disney fan in general, if you're a Donald Duck fan in general, this is probably something that you want to add to your collection. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, isn't Donald Duck like the third character to do a Zeta Flare in the Square Enix universe? I, I don't know, it's pretty cool, but still really cool to see, actually. It looks like Disney's actually popping off for WonderCon, actually, because we have a brand new Disney uh, and Pixar Wally Funko Pop, and he does have a, uh, like a cube of uh, metal that he compresses. Looks really, really cool. He's kind of got those, like, sad eyes. Like, if you guys ever use those, like, crying, like, sad emoji eyes on, on while you're texting your friends, I don't know why this Wally reminds me of that, of, of, like, a lot. And, of course, we've been getting a lot of Wally pop, uh, Pops recently, um, I think to celebrate Wally in general, really, really cool. I don't know if we ever got a sequel or a TV show of Wally. I know the movie was very, very popular. Uh, Eve, probably one of my favorite characters, just because design wise looks phenomenal. Um, uh, but yeah, we got a really, we got a ton of Wally characters, but it's cool because it's kind of showing different moments from the movie, which is honestly really, really cool. So if you guys are huge fans, this is something that I definitely think you guys should add. I want to say. I think I have a friend that's really into Wally, -E, so this might be something I'd consider probably getting for them for sure. This next Funko Pop I'm actually very, very excited for. It is actually going to be Peacemaker, and this is Peacemaker from the Peacemaker TV show. This looks really cool. Uh, it does have the helmet with, of course, like the, the visors covering his eye with the shield. Looks really, really cool. Um, 
It looks like a little bit of a different mold from the Peacemakers we already got, because technically we have two. We have the regular one, and I think we have the diamond one, or the chrome one, or the metallic one, I'm sorry. Uh, but now we have another one. This was specifically for the TV show. This makes me wonder if we're going to get anything else from the TV show, uh, like, as a part of its own wave, its own thing. So probably something like Vigilante, or like the Eagle, for example, or a White Dragon. I, I want to know if we're going to get anything like that. Maybe a cute little two-pack of Aquaman and the Flash. So if you guys know, you know. So <laughs> maybe it was something like that. But yeah, it's actually pretty cool to see uh, more Funko Pops coming from... Uh, DC's more successful TV projects. Every con has some sort of backpack, like lounge fly bag, along with the Funko Pop. I think uh, Cat Yzma was one of them last year or something like that. Uh, this one's actually from Masters in the Universe. This is gonna be She-Ra. Uh, we have the She-Ra lounge fly backpack, and of course, the uh, Funko Pop that goes with it. This is pretty cool, because I, I don't think She-Ra has that many Funko Pops. I think one of them was actually really, really expensive. So if you guys wanna add She-Ra to your actual uh, collection, this is probably a good alternative. Of course, you do have to get the bundle. Now, because of lounge fly is included in this bundle, I'm kind of leaning towards this being potentially a box lunch exclusive, if not a, no, actually, yeah, I, I think this has to be a box lunch exclusive. Exclusive. I don't see Hot Topic carrying this. I know Hot Topic sells lunch flies. Uh, Funko Shop itself, I don't see it unless they actually decide to sell this exclusively on the lunch fly website. But uh, if there is going to be some sort of like shared sticker going on or, or like with any of it, it definitely has to be box lunch. This next section of the video is actually be covering a lot of Funko sodas. Me personally, I do not like Funko sodas. They're not for me. Um, because I already have a space problem with Funko Pops. I don't want to have a space problem with Funko sodas. So, but I'm going to go over them and show you guys all the ones that I actually enjoyed and looked really, really cool. First things first, we have Hades from Disney's Villains. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Hercules villain. So I don't know why it's classified as Disney's Villains as opposed to Hercules. Uh, regardless though, it looks really, really cool. Uh, if you guys know, um, Funko sodas come with a regular version and a chase that you can potentially get. And the chase is usually like one in 500, one in a thousand based on how many Funko or sodas are actually made in general. Uh, so regular Hades is as you see the chase is where he's like red and on fire and stuff like that looks really really cool This is one of the other good ones for me like I think this is really good The next one that we have is actually gonna be Yzma from Emperor's New Groove So this is going on with the of course Kronk that we're getting in Funko Pop form This is actually gonna be in Funko Soda form so regular one she's in her lab coat and everything The chase is actually pretty cool because she is actually holding from my understanding Cusco's poison You know the poison to kill Cusco Cusco's poison, right? So, um, I think I said that right. I hope I said that correctly, but it looks really cool. Again, this is another one of the chase that I would like to get. This looks really, really good. These next set of Funko Pops are, or actually Funko Sodas, are actually gonna be black light versions. They'll have the black light uh, chase version. It reminds me of like the little cooler pack of uh, TMNT that they jumped, dropped on the Funko uh, shop not long ago. Like those are pretty cool because those were black light variants as well. Uh, but first we have Banana Splits. This is Snorky. And then of course the chase is uh, Snorky green as opposed to blue regular. I don't know if the, ch the black light works for both of them, but it looks really, really cool. Next we have uh, banana split splits. We have flea flegal. I hope I said that correctly. So normal is yellow, and then of course the chase is gonna be pink, and I believe that's to highlight off the the the, the black light. Then we have banana splits. We have bingo. Now I'm not mistaken. Bingo had one not too long ago, but I think it was more of a metallic version. Might have been a flock one, but regular bingo is gonna be pink where the chase is actually gonna be like an orange slash yellow, so that's cool. And the final Funko Soda that we're gonna take a look at as uh, today is still uh, Banana Splits. This is uh, Drooper, regular Drooper's orange where the black light is gonna be pink. Looks really cool. I don't know what Banana Splits are. Uh, I do know that Ringo is probably the most popular one, at least in my opinion, because that's the one that I know and recognize the most. Still don't know what any of this is though. These look really cool. Anything that has anything to do with Blacklight though is always gonna be really, really cool to look at. These I do expect to probably be seeing on the Funko Shop directly. So uh, really, really cool though. If you guys are into Funko Sodas, there is what, six brand new ones on the initial announcements that are coming soon. And the final thing that we're gonna look at today is actually gonna be that leaked Funko Pop that I told you guys about. This is gonna be a part of the WonderCon whole experience. Um, first of all, I'm intrigued, I'm excited, and I'm mad about this Funko Pop. This is actually gonna be Metallic Charmander. So, um, first off, 
they're doing another Pokemon run, right? I thought they would go like the exclusive route and give us something different. Maybe even something like a Lucario Flock, for example, but they're actually going back to their starters and doing a different version. So, so far we have the regular starters, right? We have the Flock starters, we have the Silver starters, we have the Diamond starters, now we have the Metallic ones. So it looks like every starter is gonna be having at least five. And that's like, they haven't done um, like the silver or red chromes, like they haven't done those yet. So like, it sucks, but I mean, it's part of it, right? Is this something that I'm gonna add to my collection? 100% because I have to collect everything Pokemon related when it comes to Funko Pops. And so this is definitely something that I wanna add to my collection. Now I did say at the start of the video, I do have a funny story about this. There's a guy on TikTok who's been hunting this Funko Pop for like two months now. It's it's really, really weird. So he uh, does little vlog type videos on uh, TikTok and he's like, oh, day one of hunting the WonderCon Charmander or uh, day seven of hunting the... It throws me off, it throws me off. Everybody in the comment section is always like, there's a WonderCon Charmander, there's a WonderCon Charmander, there's a WonderCon Charmander. And he never responds to anybody. It's like the guy either works for Funko and he's doing an like undercover project or something happened and something got leaked beforehand and he didn't tell anybody. But yeah, he's been hunting for this thing for like two months now, which is crazy. Um, and where he's hunting at is Target, so it makes me believe that this might be a Target exclusive. Uh, which, to be honest, it makes a lot of sense. The Diamond Charmander was a Target exclusive. Um, there's been probably a Target exclusive every time there's been a con release when it comes to Pokemon. So I kind of see that being the thing, which is crazy to think because, like, how did he know? Like, I, I just really want to know, how did he know? Um, he even called it, he called it word for, for, I don't think he said metallic, but he said word for word. He's like, oh, you know, day one, going to Target to check for that WonderCon Charmander. And I'm like, what? Like, I was tripping at first because I thought he was talking about the diamond one, but I'm like, you're months away from that. Like, like that happened a long time ago. And maybe he was just looking into the future. I don't understand. I want to know if anybody else saw his TikToks, which threw me off. But regardless, that's the leaked Funko Pop that, you know, is coming part of the WonderCon uh, experience. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, of course, consider dropping a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, because YouTube tells me that more than 80% more than of you guys who watch these uh, YouTube videos aren't actually subscribed in general. So I would appreciate it if you guys would drop that subscription. It'll appreciate it, you know, algorithm will enjoy it, all that good stuff. You guys know how all that stuff works. Uh, of course, head over to my social media, specifically my Instagram. I do have some uh, Funko Pop giveaways going on at the moment. Don't want you guys missing out on that. So of course, take advantage of that. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I shall see you guys on the next one. Hopefully they announce more WonderCon stuff soon. So yeah, see you guys later. Peace.